In this video, we're going to learn how to use the identity operators is and is not in Python. So the is operator will let us know if two variables are referencing the same object in memory. In a similar way, the is not operator will let us know if two variables are not referencing the same object in memory. So for example, we could create a variable list one and we could assign to this variable a list containing one, two, and three. So this here creates a list object in memory and list one is going to reference that list object. We can say list one is like a label for this object or list one points to this object. Then we'll create a variable called list two and we'll assign to list two a list object with the items one, two, and three. So this creates another list object in memory, which is different from this list object here. And list two is going to reference that list object. Now these lists are equal because they both have one, two, and three at the same indexes, but the lists are not the same list in memory. This here creates a list object and this here creates a list object. Now in Python, all objects have a unique identifier and we can find the identifier of an object using the ID function. So here, if we pass the ID function list one, this is going to return the identifier of the object that list one references. We could output that using print with print and we'll have list one colon and then we'll output the identifier. We'll also put the identifier of list two with print list two colon and ID and we'll pass it list two. Then if we save the program and we try it out here, what we'll see is that list one and list two are referencing different objects. And we can tell because the identifiers are different. Now, if we had here list three is equal to list two, this is different. What we're doing here is not creating a new list object. Instead, the variable list three is going to reference the same object that list two references, this list here. So if we output the identifier of the object that list three references using the ID function, what we'll find is that's going to be the same as list two. So if we save the program and try this out, notice how list two and list three are referencing the same object. So that's what the is operator is going to check is if two variables are referencing the same object. So let's test out the is operator. What well, here, if list two is list three, then we'll output list two is list three. So here we expect the is operator to produce true because list two is referencing the same list object as list three. If we save the program and try it out, we do get that list two is list three. Now we could check to see if list one is list two. If we had here, if list one is list two, we could output list one is list two. And if this is not true, we'll have else print list one is not list two. And if we save the program and try this out, we'll get that list one is not list two, which makes sense because they have different identifiers. Now list one is equal to list two. So if we had here, if list one is equal to list two, we could output list one equals list two. And this is true. The list do have the same items at the same indexes. So in this case, we'll get that list one equals list two. We'll save the program and try it out. And we do get that list one equals list two. Now there's also the is not operator, which is going to return true if the two variables do not reference the same object. So if we had, if list one is not list two, which is true, list one and list two do reference different objects, then we could output list one is not list two here. And if we save the program and try it out, we do get that list one is not list two. So this is how we can use the identity operators is and is not in Python.
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.